and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm, I am going to do another review for you guys today. So today I am going to be reviewing the movie The Dressmaker. This um, stars um, Kate Winslet, Judy Davis, Liam Hemsworth and Hugo Weaving. Um, it is directed by who? Shoot. I should really research this before. She's in Merck. Um, it's in a show room. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't say it. Anyway. Whoever the director, let me know. If you know who directed it. So, um, this is an Australian film. Yes, Kate Winslet's in it. The, but it is an Australian movie. It was shot here in Australia in Melbourne. Um, in the sun. What was the what was the film again? I looked it up. It's a caution, but and at back. Um, in Warpop, as we say here in Australia. Um, so basically, it's about um a dressmaker, which is um Winslet's character, and she's uh, now a uh, famous dressmaker and makes all these little beautiful dresses and she comes back to find um to remember the pa past when she was accused of murder as a child and she's trying to uh, and she's trying to remember what happened that day and she falls in love with um with teddy which is liam's character and and then anything all that stuff I, uh, this is my thing about this movie. I know I'm writing it as if it's negative, but it's positive. This, I wish I saw this film earlier, as soon as it came out. I wanted to see this when it came out in the movies, and I never got the chance. But, this movie is so beautifully made. It's so beautiful. The, Oh, there was this one scene, I think it was the scene with um, Teddy and uh, um, Tilly, where they um, where she's tr um, Teddy's trying to remember, get she when Teddy's trying to let Tilly remember what happened that day, um, when she um was accused of murder, and um, all that and the music, where they go into the scene where the accident happened or the event, the incident was so well done the music they used the scenery it was the, the shots everything about it was beautifully made like literally beautifully made and yeah it was just a uh, very very good movie. Um, I have to admit, I wish I saw this earlier. I'm going to be honest here. Yeah. I wish I did see this movie earlier. Got to be honest. It's just a really good, brilliant movie. That's it's up there. It's pretty. It's excellent movie. So not pretty good. Excellent movie. So yeah, I'm going to come back with some facts so now time for some quick facts so um kate winslet and judy davis had a hard time keeping a straight face while filming the scene where liam hemsworth strips off to get measurement so tilly's um sewing machine is a singer 201k2 they were incredibly sturdy and very expensive costing the equivalent to up to six months um, wages for a working woman. They are still considered one of the best sewing machines by professional makers and tailors. I think I saw one recently. Oh, I wasn't sure if it was that one or a similar one, but it was a singer. Um, so, Kate went and learned to sew for her part. Um, so following that, she assisted the uh, Margot Wilson, who was the costume designer in creating costumes for her character. Uh, Wilson was exclusively hired to create the outfits for Winslet's characters. 
the, fic the fictional character of Dunkatar was built from scratch as no one town in Victoria, Australia. This is the state I live in. Match production designer Roger Ford's wish to um, achieve a western town with Australian characteristics. The production of this film was um, pushed back a year, so Kate Winslet's pre so to accommodate Kate Winslet's pregnancy. So, uh, so it spent 13 years in development um, before filming um, began. Uh, the red dress and coat worn by Kate Winslet are made from a silk moriai fabric found in Milan 25 years ago before it was used in a film. Um, okay. um, shooting of the film was interrupted several times as well as emus interrupted the scene. So emus, they like um, the Australian version of ostriches. They're very similar. Um, they're basically like cousins, so you know, I don't know, I think they're really, really but no. So it was the second highest grossing Australian film of 2015 and the 11th highest grossing film of all time at the Australian box office. So Kate wants to direct a record with Liam Hemsworth and admittedly she's never, she's never seen any of his work. Um, Elizabeth DeBecky and Isla, Isla Fisher were both originally um, car, um, attached for supporting roles. And yeah, so that's all for my um, review for today. I'll see you next week with a new video today. Bye.